Hello and welcome to our notes on geometric mean. So most likely at this point you've already heard about a mean, which is when you take the average of numbers. The geometric mean is also a way to take an average of numbers. However, instead we are going to take the square root instead of dividing. So the geometric mean is the positive square root of a product of numbers. In geometry, we're going to use this um, just between two numbers. Uh, and the original way to set this up is using ratios, and this is how it comes about. So the geometric mean comes from using a ratio of two numbers that are related, but both by x. So a and b are the two numbers that are given to us. And we know that we can solve for x by doing cross product. So if we do x times x, that gives us x squared. And then if we do a times b, that gives us ab. And then we can solve for x by taking the square root of both sides, because that undoes the squaring. And that would give us x equals the square root of a times b. Now, this is our main thing that we're going to use, this formula here. But I'm going to show you some pieces of information that explain why we can do this ratio uh, later on. So first we're just going to practice doing the geometric mean. Uh, and I am going to have us do the setup solve versions just so that you guys can practice that because it'll be useful. So A says find the geometric mean between each pair of numbers. So find the geometric mean between 5 and 45. So when we set this up, we would have 5 over x equals x over 45. So you'll see the 5 filled the spot of A, the 45 filled the spot of B, but the x is our x because that's what we're looking for. So if we do x times x, that gives us x squared equals 5 times 45 is 225. If we take the square root of both sides, that eliminates the squared on the x's side. And then it gives us the square root of 225 is 15. So that means the geometric mean of 5 and 45 is 15. All right, so example B uh, is similar to example A. So why don't you try example B and see if you can do that one. Uh, I will let you know that this one does not work out nicely like example A does, so you will get a decimal. All right, so when you do this, uh, and if you set it up the way that I showed you, it would be 8 over x and x over 10, and we would cross multiply, we'd get x squared equals 80. When you take the square root of 80, it's about 8.94. Example C says, what is the geometric mean of the square root of 36 and the square root of 81? So the first thing we want to take note of here is the square root of 36 and the square root of 81 can be done. The square root of 36 is 6, the square root of 81 is 9. So we're actually going to do the geometric mean of 6 and 9. So we have 6 over x equals x over 9. We cross multiply, that gives us x squared, x times x, equals, oops, jumping the gun, 6 times 9 is 54. And then solve for x, we take the square root, and that would give us x equals 7.35 about. All right. Example D has a similar idea to example C, so I want you to give that a try. All right, x, so we would do 10 over x because the square root of 100 is 10, and x over 18, and that would give us x squared equals 180, because 118 times 10 is 180, and then when we take the square root, we get that x is about 13.42. 
right? This last one involves fractions, but it's not going to be as bad as you think. So let's set this up. So when we do this, we're going to have 13 over 7 over x equals x. over 5 over 7. So if we cross multiply, that'll give us x squared equals 13 over 7 times 5 over 7 is going to be 65. 13 times 5 over 49. 7 times 7. And when we take the square root here, we can take the square root, and that'll give us x equals, uh, we can break up our square root if we wanted, and do 60 square root of 65 over square root of 49, because this allows us to do the square root of 49, which is 7, so that gives us x equals the square root of 65 over 7, or we could do our calculator and if we did the math on this, it would be about 1.15. So both of these are options here. Okay, so that is the basics of how to use the geometric mean. So next we're going to talk about the altitude rule and how we can use the geometric mean to do it, uh, to find the altitude of a right triangle specifically. So the altitude rule says that the altitude of a right triangle is the geometric mean of two values making up the hypotenuse of the right triangle. So what we have here, let me draw us a right triangle so we can have a diagram. Okay, so if we have a right triangle here, the altitude, so technically this, the legs of the triangle are an altitude as well, but the altitude that they're talking about is the one that creates let me use a different color. The one that creates a right angle with the hypotenuse. So the altitude created with the hypotenuse, so that long side, remember, creates multiple smaller right triangles. And because of how this works, all three so if you look, you can actually say that there are three triangles here. There's the main triangle. There's this triangle. And there's this small triangle. All three of those triangles are what we call similar. And when we have similar shapes, we can create ratios because they're, they have the same overall shape, but they're different sizes. So if you think about it, like if you have an adult shoe and a baby shoe, usually they're the same shape, but the baby shoe is really small. The adult shoe's adult sized. And when we make this altitude, we create three, right, three similar right triangles, which allows us to set up ratios. And in terms of the geometric mean, this altitude is the thing we're looking for. That's going to be our x. Oops. And then the two pieces that the explanation was talking about are the two pieces created by where the altitude cuts the shape in half. So this would be our a from our out, um, geometric mean situation, and this might be our B. So we can find X by doing the geometric mean using A and B. All right, so there's our diagram and our definition. So let's apply this. So we have two examples here. So you'll see that they gave us an example F, so I'll do example F, and then I'll let you guys try example G. 
CD is the altitude that they're talking about. So this is going to be our X. This is what we're going to find. The 2 here is one of our pieces for our geometric mean. So we're going to use the 2 and the 7. So essentially we're going to find the geometric mean of 2 and 7. So if we set this up, we would have 2 over X equals X over 7. And then if we do our cross multiply, we have X squared equals 2 times 7 is 14. And then we solve by taking the square root, and that would give us x equals the square root of 14, or about 3.74. All right. Example G gives us, they actually put the x there to show you what they're talking about, and they label everything. So I want you guys to try this and see if you can come up with the answer. Alright, so when you take the square root, you get that x is about 1.73. This is it for our geometric mean lesson. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them in at the end of this video.